This problem says a hot air balloon headed due east at an average speed of 15 miles per hour and at a constant altitude of 100 feet passes over an intersection. Find an expression for its distance d from the intersection t seconds later. So they have a picture for us. So here's your picture. And the tricky part to this is what they mean by distance is not just the distance, the horizontal distance. They mean, that's not what they mean by distance. They mean the distance from literally from the intersection. So you want to draw, like if, if, if it's over here, if your hot air balloon is over here, you want this distance right there. So that distance would be, so it would be 100. This right here would be 100 because it's still 100 feet above. And this distance right here, that, that's the D that they want. But your X coordinate right here is going to be 15 miles per hour. So that's going to be for every hour that you go. What's the time in again? It says T seconds later. So this is they want you to do it in seconds. All right, so the key, and I've done the work down on the bottom here, the key to this is to convert 15 miles per hour into feet per second. And if you remember this from conversion and everything like that, conversion factors, what we want to do is take uh, hours and convert it to seconds. So there's, whoops, I did something wrong. There's not 60 seconds in an hour. There's um, 3,600 3, seconds in an hour. Whoops, I've got a typo in here now. So 3,600, so go ahead and type this in here. All right, so this is actually, this is the, the way to solve this is to multiply 15 times 5280, because there's that many feet in a mile, and divide it by 3,600, because that's how many seconds there are in an hour, and then you get 220 feet per second. So this distance right here, what we're trying to do, notice that I've got a little a right triangle here. Here's your distance that they want you to find. That's the, that's the diagonal, and this right here is 100 feet up in the air, and this distance right here is what changes over time. But every second you're going 220 feet. It might be 22 because I divided by 360. Whoops, not, <laughs> 200, not, not 220, sorry, that was, yeah, that looked a little big to me. 22 feet. So this right here becomes x equals 22 times whatever t is. So if you're going one second, if you're one second out, then you've gone 22 feet. If you're two seconds out, you've gone 42 feet. If you're two and a half seconds out, then add another 11 yeah. to the two one. All right? So the, the question said to find an expression for its distance, that's this right here, from the intersection t seconds later. So we're just going to use Pythagorean's theorem. We know that 22t squared plus 100 squared length times, or sorry, leg times leg, or leg squared plus leg squared equals d squared. So the distance is, you can clean this up if you want to, but basically it's the square root of 22t squared plus 100 squared. That's the distance that the balloon is away from the intersection at any given point because it's 100 feet up in the air and it's going to be that distance away after two seconds.